Amy and Sean, uh, between 7 o'clock on Friday night and 8 this morning, 46, 47 rather, people injured in shootings here in the city of Chicago. Seven people now dead because of gunshot violence. Uh, really hard to wrap your head around numbers like that. Um, part of the reason why Chicago police tweeted this audio out this morning. Chicago police say that is how many gunshots could be heard early Sunday morning in just one incident in Chicago. Just a string of shootings back to back. Chicago police say just after one Sunday morning in the 2900 block of West Roosevelt Road, a black Camaro drove up to a group of people who were barbecuing in Douglas Park and opened fire. Also overnight Saturday to Sunday, five people were shot near 18th and killed there during a drive by shooting. Three cars pulled up and they just start shooting everybody. There were so many gunshot victims Sunday morning, the emergency room at Mount Sinai had to turn people away. Dozens of people gathered outside the hospital waiting to hear about the status of loved ones. As headlines of mass shootings made news around the country this weekend, many Chicagoans say they're wondering when enough will be enough. Like it's worse than Iraq or any Afghanistan. The war is right here. It's the city of Chicago and we have to stop this senseless killing. Today the mayor met with a group of social workers to talk about how the city can better coordinate efforts to address the mental health aspect of this gun violence. But the reality is the level of trauma, the level of violence is so frequent that what we have to do is think different. We have to provide real infrastructure <coughs> with staying power so that we can help these communities start to heal. Police Superintendent Eddie Johnson uh, is expected to hold a press conference here in the next hour at police headquarters. Uh, police say they're going to announce an initiative uh, to better track gun violence. They want to make it public, a database of people who are arrested for having guns. They say one of the big problems here is that people get out on bond after they have guns. The mayor today obviously stating that this isn't a problem that can be policed around. She says there has to be more infrastructure, more resources. Um, in fact, she said there has to be a level of resources that this city has never seen before if we want to conquer this gun violence. So we will have